Hi, I'm Curtis, insurance geek, video producer, and lover of all things InsureTech. With so much noise and excitement in the InsureTech arena, it's easy for me to get caught up in all the buzzwords and hype surrounding them. AI, IoT, machine learning, computer vision, chatbots, augmented reality, and the list goes on. I'm excited to talk about many of these technologies in upcoming videos. But the focus of this episode, and those to follow in the coming weeks, is my personal favorite buzzword and emerging technology. It's the reason I've pursued and recently attained my first industry designation, the coveted BCM. That's right, this week we're talking about blockchain. Blockchain came on the scene around 2008 in the fintech sector with the advent of the cryptocurrency Bitcoin. Over the last decade, the use cases for blockchain, though often hypothetical, have expanded to nearly every business sector. Many have surmised that over the next decade, blockchain will revolutionize every area of commerce on a level and scale not seen since the Industrial Revolution. At its core, blockchain is all about trust and transparency. So it's no wonder there's lots of buzz over blockchain in the insurance industry. Now, I'll be the first to admit I am no expert on blockchain. In fact, quite the opposite is true, but I am intrigued by many things I've read, seen, and heard over the last year or so. Blockchain is essentially distributed ledger technology, or DLT. It's defined as a consensus of replicated, shared, and synchronized digital data geographically spread across multiple sites, countries, or institutions. There is no central administrator or centralized data storage. The distributed ledger database is spread across several nodes or devices on a peer-to-peer -peer network where each replicates and saves an identical copy of the ledger and updates itself independently. The primary advantage is the lack of central authority. When a ledger update happens, each node constructs the new transaction, and then the nodes vote by consensus algorithm on which copy is correct. Once a consensus has been determined, all the other nodes update themselves with the new correct copy of the ledger. What this essentially produces is a fully automated audit of data. Security is accomplished through cryptographic keys and signatures. That may sound like a bunch of jargon, but when applied to antiquated workflows in the insurance ecosystem, some astonishing use cases begin to emerge. There are already many insurtechs exploring the possibilities, and momentum is certainly growing. Specifically, in my world of loss control inspections, I can only imagine the efficiencies that could be achieved with a distributed ledger. Consider the 5.24 million existing homes purchased in the U.S. in the year 2018. Redundant historical data on every property exists in a multitude of places and is owned by many different entities. In 2015, the average age of homes in the U.S. was 37 years. That's 37 years of historical data gathered by tax assessors, appraisers, realtors, home inspectors, lenders, and insurance companies. Remember the definition of DLT? A consensus of replicated, shared, and synchronized digital data. If the data on a residential or commercial property was replicated, shared, and synchronized in a distributed ledger, the impact would be massive. And this is just a single use case in one small niche of the insurance ecosystem. Now, despite my prestigious BCN designation, I've already admitted to you that I'm no blockchain expert. However, I've tried my best to keep up to speed with blockchain development in our industry. I'm most intrigued by what IBM is doing in partnership with AAIS. Their open IDL project is definitely worth checking out. In addition, if you didn't attend ITC 2018, or you didn't catch the panel discussion on blockchain led by Bertrand Fortier, you really should check it out. You can find the link in the description below. Finally, the IBM Blockchain YouTube channel is a great way to keep up as well. It's one thing to talk about blockchain. There's been plenty of that over the last few years. But I'm more interested in getting my hands dirty and building my own over the next few weeks. So, let's get started by gathering some assets.
week, we'll dig a little deeper into the blockchain discussion and dive into our own private IDL development. If you've not already, don't forget to connect, like, share, and subscribe to follow along on our blockchain journey in the coming weeks. In addition, if you're not already connected to the Insurance Nerds community, you're missing out. Go to the website, sign up for the newsletter, join the Slack channel, and join in the conversation. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching, and until next week, Thank <laughs> you.